theory. Okay. So we'll see why is it called x bar. Okay, x bar. So x bar theory came as a reaction to the inadequacies of the flat structure. Okay. So uh, the trees that we have been uh, uh, generating are based on the flat structure. Okay. Uh, flat structure means there is no hierarchy between the constituents. All of them are generated at the same level, as we'll see. So some embedded constituents are not generated. Okay. Some embedded constituents are not generated. So this is the main claim of X bar theory. We'll, we'll see this. There are certain smaller constituents that are not lexical and not phrasal, and they are not generated. Now consider this flat structure. Okay, this tree. Okay, so the big book of poems with the blue cover. So this is the way how we used to generate trees find the in p contains determiner adjective phrase noun the first preposition phrase and the second preposition phrase now can anyone explain the syntactic functions of the two pps okay the difference between the, the first preposition phrase and the second preposition phrase in terms of this the syntactic function professor yes mr Nordin. Yeah, the first one uh, is uh, noun complement, complement of the noun, of mm -hmm. poem, and the mm -hmm. second one is an adjunct. Yes, good, yes. Uh, the first preposition phrase functions as a complement to the noun, okay? Book of poems, which means we must say of poems, when, when you mention book, of Poems. So, of poems is important to the noun book. So, it functions as a complement. So, whenever there is of, etc., it's a complement. Okay. While the the second preposition phrase with the blue cover is simply as an adjunct because you can delete it. Okay. So now the conclusion is this. Is there an oblique? Yes. Yes, it's an oblique. So here, here, uh, the conclusion is this. We have two preposition phrases. They differ, they differ in terms of the function, syntactic function. The first preposition phrase is a complement. The second one is simply an adjunct, which is optional. But the complement is obligatory. Now, the problem in this tree in the flat structure, phrase structured rules that we have been generated. The problem is that they are generated at the same level. What do we mean by at the same level? They are sisters. They are sisters. Okay. The first preposition phrase and the second one are sisters. Also they are dominated by the same mother, the infant. Exhaustively and immediately are dominated by the same mother. And also they seek and man each other symmetrically. Okay, they seek and man each other. Normally, what should we do? Normally, we should indicate that the first preposition phrase is obligatory to the noun, and the second preposition phrase is optional. Okay, because uh, uh, complements are necessary okay to the noun in this case but adjuncts are optional so how can we show this because this flat structure please remember if i give you this flat structure in the exam and i ask you so what is the main or what is the inadequacy in in this uh, uh, flat structure so you should say this flat structure does not show the difference between the first preposition phrase and the second preposition phrase in terms of the syntactic function. In other words, the first preposition phrase is complement, is a complement of the noun. The second preposition phrase is simply an adjunct. You can delete it, it's optional. 
okay? But look at the tree. They are generated at the same level. They are sisters. So here, this tree does not show that the first preposition phrase is obligatory because it's complement and the second one is option. No, it doesn't show that. It shows that they are at the same level. Now, how can we solve this problem? Xbar theory okay, tries to provide us with a solution. So there is no distinction between the two preposition phrases in terms of dominance and C command because they symmetrically C command each other and they are dominated by exhaustively and immediately by the same mother, which shouldn't be the case. So, constituency tests also indicate that a book and a poems must form a constituent. Now, we talked about constituency tests, and we said if you can move a group of words from one place to another, then that group of words forms a constituent. We also talked about standalone tests. Uh, uh, standalone test, uh, proposing, clefting, conjunction, uh, replacement, etc. So we are going to use some of them in, in this chapter. So remember, this is, this is always the case. It's a general rule. If you can replace a group of words with one item or with one word, one entity, it means that that group of words forms a constituent okay now look at this tree the in p determine adjective phrase noun preposition phrase etc the whole is one constituent how many constituents do we have here we have we have the in p the whole the big book of poems in the blue cover this is the largest constituent and we have the adjective phrase constituent within the in p we have the first, the preposition phrase as a constituent. We have the second preposition phrase as a constituent. However, the claim of X-bar theory is that there are other smaller constituents, okay, that are realized here. Now let's find them. Let's use one replacement test, okay? So what does one replace in the two uh, sentences below? So here, I bought the big book of poems with the blue cover, not the small one. What does one replace in this sentence? I bought the big book of poems with the blue cover, not the small one. What does one replace? Yes, please. It replaced the book of poems with the blue cover. Okay, yes, I bought the big book of poems with the blue cover, not the small one. Why? Because small excludes what? The small excludes? The big, the big. exclude the book. The big. The big. Yeah, 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 the small, the small excludes the big. Fine. So here, here, th this is the first problem. Why? Because remember what we said a long time ago in constituency test. If you can replace a group of words with one word or with one entity, it means that uh, that group of words forms a constituent. This <laughs> means that this means that book of poems with the blue cover forms a constituent. And any group of words that forms a constituent must be branched from a single node, uh, from a single node, which means we need to have a node that includes only book of poems with the blue cover. Why? Why? Because, because using one replacement, it seems that we can target uh, one replaces only book of poems with the blue cover because the small, the small excludes the big. I'm not talking about uh, uh, the big book, I'm talking about the small. 
okay? So the small excludes the big. So here, one, remember constituency test, we said, if you can replace a group of words with one element, it means that that group of words forms a constituent. This is the first thing. The second thing, if a group of words forms a constituent, it must be included within one node. It must be branched from one node. Okay? So here, one replaces only book of poems with the blue cover. So if, if we go back to the tree, if we go back to the tree, which one is, is replaced by one in, in that example? Uh, one, we said, replaces a book of poems with the blue cover because we have not, the, the small excludes the big. So the problem here, there is no node, there is no node that includes only book of poems with the blue cover. We need a node that includes only book of poems with the blue cover. Why? Because using one replacement test, we have come up with the, the fact that book of poems with the blue cover forms a constituent. Because only this part of the phrase can be replaced by one. You got the point? Yes or no? Yes, so, sir. So, yes, no, teacher. No, teacher. Yes, please. Professor. No. Could, you repeat? Could you repeat, please? Okay, but, but please be uh, careful. Because there are some students who have just joined and they say, please repeat. Please repeat. Okay? So pay attention. Mohammed, mute your mic. Ah, excuse me. Okay, so what we are trying to do, uh, which is the main claim of expert theory, is... I'm sorry, there is uh, some students can join the meeting. They can join, so let them try. So please do, do not interrupt me, Thank please. You. Okay, so what we are trying to do is to show that expert theory comes up with a new idea, which is there are some constituents, some constituents that are not generated in the flat structure, in the phrase structure rules that we have been using uh, in all the chapters before. Expert theory claims that this is, for example, the big book of poems with the blue cover, the whole is one phrase. Okay, all of them are branched from the NP. Expert theory says that this is wrong. Why? Because expert theory says that no, if we use the constituency test, for example, one replacement test, we conclude that there are other constituents that are not shown in this tree. If we use one replacement test and we say, uh, for example, this example, I bought the big book of poems with the blue cover, not the small one. So here, one, replaces only book of poems with the blue cover. Replaces only book of poems with the blue cover. So anything that can be replaced by one element, first, is a constituent. Second, it must be branched alone from a node. Now, if we go back to the tree, now we said, we said, one replaces only book of poems of the blue cover, which means book of poems of the blue cover is another constituent included in the NP. So one replaces only book of poems of the blue cover. This means that book of poems of the blue cover must be branched from a single node, from one node, not from the NP, from from another node within the NP, as we will see. So this is the, the first point. 
Now, look at the other example. I bought the big book of poems with the blue cover, not the small one with the red cover. Now here, what does one replace? Book of poems. Book of poems. So here, so here, one replaces only book of poems. Why? Because with the red cover, excludes with the blue cover. I'm talking about the book of poems with the red cover, which means you have to exclude with the blue cover because I'm talking about the, the book of poems with the red cover. So here, the small, in the first example, the small excludes the big, and here with the red cover excludes with the blue cover. So one in this example, replaces only book of poems this means as i said earlier this means that since book of poems alone can be replaced by one it means according to constituency test it means it forms a constituent this is the first point and since it forms a constituent there is a golden rule there is a golden rule that we talked about in chapter three there is a golden rule which says the, the words that form a constituent the words that form a constituent must have one mother okay must have one mother okay must have one mother must be branched from the same note okay must be branched from the same note now if we go back again if we go back again okay uh, here book of poems okay so one replaces only book of poems which means if we go back to the tree again book of poems okay is not branched from the same node we need book of poems only book of poems to be branched from something here we need a node that includes only book of poems okay we need a node let, let me uh, branch it here we need a node that includes only something like this noun book okay and the first preposition of poem this is what we need okay we need a node that includes only book and of poems because they can be replaced by one and because they form a constituent so they must be branched from only one node. And for the first example, uh, for the first example, this one, okay, for the first example, uh, I bought I bought the big book of poems with the blue cover, not the small one. We said one one replaces, okay, one replaces book of poems with the blue cover, okay, which means book of poems with the blue cover we need a node something like this a node that includes only book of poems with with the red cover okay with the red cover okay so this is this is the node that is replaced by the second example this is the node that is replaced by the first example okay now let's go back to the examples so th this is the main claim of x bar theory so in in this example in the first example i bought the big book of poems with the blue cover not the small one so here one replaces one replaces book of poems with the blue cover which means x bar theory says if this group of words can be replaced by one it means it forms a constituent so it must be branched from one node which means we have to add a node so this is the node eh? number one this is the node we are talking about so this node includes book of poems with the red cover 
Fine, now we solve the problem. Since only book of poems with the, with the red cover can be replaced by one, we need the node that targets this group of words, which is node, uh, uh, node N1, let's say N1, and this is N2, okay? So, look at the second example. I bought the big book of poems in the blue cover. Yes. Sorry, I can't see the slide. Sorry? Someone is sharing uh, his screen or her screen. Nohaila bin Malik. Okay, so is it fine now? Yes, Professor. Yes, yes, yes. yes. thank you so much. Okay, so um, the first example, in the first example, we bought the book of poems with the blue card, not the small one. Here, one replaces only poems with the other. What you should understand is that one does not is the whole is the big with the blocker. We have in flash this big of poems with the blue the middle in pain. But in one someone has shared his screen. Okay, so your voice is cutting. We can tell you clearly, Professor. Um, I'm repeating and again, okay? Okay, sir. We can't hear you, Professor. Oh. I wrote a book of poems with the blue cover, not the small one. Okay? So, one place is, is, is it fine now? Do you hear now? No, Professor, we can hear you. Okay, now we now. There's still some cuts, Professor. Sir, we can hear you. Okay. Just like this, just Okay, so now is it is it fine now? Yes, yes. Professor. Okay, so I repeat. So um I don't know why students try to share their screens. Maybe it's sort of mistake, Professor.
Okay, so um, remember the rule. Remember what we talked about in constituency test, chapter three. So you shouldn't forget what we did. We talked about constituency tests because we need them now. Uh, we said in one of the tests is one replacement. We said in chapter three, if you can replace a group of words with one word, it means that group of words forms a constituent. And there is a golden rule. If a group of words forms a constituent, it must be branched from one node, from one node. Don't include others. Only this uh, constituent must be grouped uh, 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 under one node. Now, if, if we look at the tree here in P determinant, the big book of poems of the blue cover, this flat structure, if we look at it, if we look at it, so there is no node that includes only this constituent, book of poems of the blue cover. So one solution is this. This is the solution of X-bar theory. Look at N1. N1 is a node that includes book of poems with the red cover. Now we solve the problem because uh, one replacement replaces N1, only book of poems with the blue cover, not the big book of, uh, of poems with the blue cover. So one does not replace the whole noun phrase, which is the big book of poems with the blue cover. It replaces only part of the phrase, which is book of poems with the blue cover. So how can we show this? Xbar theory says that we can add, we can add another N here, uh, and we call it N1, okay? So it targets book of poems with the blue cover. Then we have a, a further smaller constituents. I bought the big book of poems in the blue cover, not the small one. If you look at the second example, as we said, with the red cover, with the red cover, excludes with the blue cover, which means that one replaces only book of poems, which means a smaller, a smaller constituent, okay? It's a smaller constituent than the other one. So book of poems, since it is replaced by one, so it must be, it, it must, be uh, branched from one node excluding all other words so which is not the case in the flat structure here which is not the case here but this is the solution n joke uh, so we add another n okay that includes only book of poems now we solve the problem okay in the first example replaces n1 Okay, book of poems with the blue cover, with the red cover. In the second example, one replaces N2, book of poems, okay? Now, to summarize, to summarize, if you use one replacement test and you find that a group of words is replaced by one, then you should go back to the tree and you should find one node, one node that includes only, only those words, okay? So in the first example, one replaces book of poems with the blue cover, which means in the tree, we must find only these words, uh, branch from a node. We don't find it, okay? We don't find it. That's why as a solution, as a solution, we do something like this. This is the node N1 that includes only book of poems with the blue cover. And we exclude the others here, okay? Here, the INP, okay? If you want to add it, this is the INP. If you want to continue, then, then here, the adjective phrase, the big and determinate, etc. So here we have the node that includes book of poems with the blue cover, and we have a node here that includes book of poems. Is it, is it clear? Yes, professor. Yes, yes, professor. Yes, professor. Okay, so we continue now. Right, so now consider again the flat structure. What's wrong? So as we said, the complements and the adjunct here, the complements and the adjunct are at the same level. 
okay so the complement and the adjunct should be separated we should so yes professor so it's like we have it's like we have two problems the first problem is this the first preposition phrase is a complement and the second preposition phrase is an adjunct it's optional we have to show this we have to include we have to add a node that includes only the noun only the noun book and the preposition phrase of poems okay this is the first problem we need to add a node that includes only the complement and the the, the 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 head book to show that the first preposition phrase is a complement and the second preposition phrase is an adjunct okay so we we need something like this we need okay we need yeah something like this so uh, a book of poems so the preposition phrase is closer to the noun okay this means that this preposition phrase is the head it's closer to the noun and the second preposition phrase is simply an adjunct it should be outside it should be outside a node that includes the head and its complement yes and here it is it's outside ento okay the second preposition phrase is outside ento okay so we have explained this uh, uh, the main claim of expert theory using two examples and two claims the first one is that we need a node a further node okay that groups or includes the head and its complement this is angel this is angel and we exclude the adjuncts we branch it from another node this means in syntax it means that since the first preposition phrase is closer to the noun it means it's complement since the second preposition phrase is outside and so it's far away from the noun it means it functions simply as an adjunct so we, we solved the first problem in the plus structure the first problem we solved is that now it is clear now it is clear that the preposition phrase of poems functions as a complement because it's closer to the noun and it belongs to a branch from the same node as the head and the second preposition phrase is simply an adjunct now the second problem that we solved is that we use in one replacement we have shown that one targets book of poems with the red cover targets node uh, n1 n1 okay targets n1 because when we say the big i want or i bought the big book of poems with the blue cover not the small one so the small one so one here replaces book of poems with the red, red cover which means and this is something missing in the flat structure which means that using one replacement it seems that we have other constituents that okay are not generated in the flat structure and the rule says whenever you have a group of words okay that can be replaced by an entity it means that group of words forms a constituent and it means that you must find a node where these words are branched so in the first example one targets book of poems with the red cover what is the node that includes book of poems with the red cover it's n1 in the second example in the second example uh, uh, one replaces only book of poems what is the node that targets only book of poems it's n2 this is something that we don't find in the in the flat structure okay we don't find it in the flat structure look at the flat structure so there is no difference between the first preposition phrase and the second one there is no difference between the uh, adjunct and complement there is no difference between uh, or there is there are some smaller constituents that are missing here they are not generated so i hope it's clear so i okay, i try to explain it using 
different examples and okay any question before we we continue talking about okay so here is the solution here is the solution okay x bar theory tries to solve this problem by adding an x bar okay now let us uh, uh, do it together first this is the reason why it is called x bar theory okay it is called x bar theory because look at the the, the first uh, uh, in page so we said we have the NP, we have the terminal the, we have adjective phrase, the big, okay? Now, x bar theory tries to solve problem by adding a bar, a bar. For example, here, in bar, you can do it like this, or you can do it like this, okay? Or like this, okay? So it's the same bar a bar we add a bar okay to solve this problem so we add a bar okay here another bar here so here the noun book and here the first preposition phrase of poems okay and here the second preposition phrase okay with etc with the red cover now it is clear now this is let's call this one n1 in bar one okay let's call it this one let's call it n bar one and this is n bar two now thanks to x bar theory that now we solve the problem because now it is clear that the first preposition is closer to the noun Okay, so it functions as a complement. And the second preposition phrase is far away from the head. Okay, so it functions as an adjunct. Okay, so we solve the first problem. The second thing, we, when we use one replacement test, now we can target smaller constituents. We don't target only the largest constituent, which is the, the noun phrase. We can target only book of poems okay and this is n bar two we can target only book of poems with the with the red cover and this is n bar one so this is this is the reason why it is called x bar theory because because it adds a bar to solve this problem of the difference between complements and adjuncts and also it solves the problem that there are certain smaller constituents that are not generated by the flat structure is it clear? Any question? It's clear, Professor. It's clear, Professor. Yes, so. So. Yes, so the first preposition is a complement, which is necessary, but the other, but, but the second preposition further from the noun is a modifier which can be deleted. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. We'll we'll see why. Uh, we'll see why. Because so uh, uh, let me just give you a hint. Okay, uh, the, this is complement because it's is sister to noun. But the second preposition phrase is sister to in bar. Okay, in bar, in bar. Okay, we'll we'll talk about this in the future. But it is clear that the one the preposition phrase which is closer to the noun uh, in this case uh, of poems is the complement the second one is uh, just an adjunct yeah mr omar uh, professor are the are the other tests also involved yes we will see other tests okay we'll see okay, other thank tests. You. Okay, so now let, let, let's continue. Yes, Mr. Norbert? Professor, I just want to ask you a question. 
why yes. why did we draw two in bar mm -hmm. so of, uh, so what is the solution you are proposing now why no, um, why two? okay why two? i'm just curious <laughs> okay why two? because because we need we need one node okay for every yes. constituent for every constituent so for example look at this look, look at uh, example one look at example one i bought the big book of poems with the blue cover not the small one now what does one replace it replaces book, book of, poems. of poems with the blue cover so you need you need to show me you need to show me the node that includes only book of poems with the blue cover where is it where is it mr Norte? which node that includes only book of poems with the red cover in bar two yeah in bar so, one in bar yeah. one book of poems with the red cover uh, yes yes and bar one includes yes. uh, book of poems the with the blue cover fine yes if you don't find because look at the test one replacement test shows that we have smaller constituents because what is the largest constituent the large look at this tree the largest constituent here is the NP because the NP includes everything. It includes determinant, adjective, phrase, book, etc. Yes. So, so this is the the largest constituent. What is the smallest constituent here? The lexical book. category, book, determiner, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So, so Iqbal theory claims that there is something in between book of poems with the blue cover which is replaced by one is not the is not a phrasal category maybe 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 uh, i was expecting a question from you why do we use n bar why not not for example in p bar in p bar why because what is replaced here what is replaced here uh, is not the whole phrase which is in P. Look at the tree. One does not replace the mother, the whole phrase which is the in P, does not replace the adjective phrase, does not replace the preposition phrase, the first one, does not replace the preposition phrase, this, the second one. Okay? and does not replace so so it does not replace any phrase it does not replace any phrasal category okay because it does not replace the in p it does not replace the adjective phrase the preposition phrases and it does not replace the lexical categories one does not replace determiner does not replace the noun book so what does it replace it replaces something in between now let me give you a, a very clear example so when for example when I say X double bar it means XP and XP is uh, we talked about it XP could be uh, any phrase okay XP is uh, noun phrase adjective phrase a preposition phrase verb phrase etc so when i say xp it means all the phrases x is okay x refers to any category it can be replaced by noun adjective etc so xp means the phrase xp is the same thing as x double bar when i say for example you can use okay you can use uh, n double bar it means np you can use, I will accept it. Huh? If you use it in the exam, I will accept it. If you say P double bar, it means PP, which means 
Double bar means the phrase. If you use a V double bar, it means a VP. Okay? If you use adjective double bar, it means adjective phrase. Okay? If you use adverb double bar, it means adverb phrase. Okay? Etc. So double bar means the phrase. Thank you. Is it clear? Thank you, Professor. Okay, I, I, I haven't finished yet. So, so please remember, double bar is the phrase. So instead of saying in double bar, P double bar, V double bar, we use X double bar. It refers to, to all okay, phrases. Okay, so X double bar means the phrase. Okay? And, and X zero bar, X zero bar, which means X without any bar. X without any bar. What does it refer to? It refers to the lexical category, which means it refers to noun, adjective, adverb, verb, preposition, etc. Okay? So, when I say X or X zero bar, which means there is no bar, there is no bar, X, just X, I am referring to noun, adjective, adverb, verb, preposition, etc. And when I say X double bar, when I say X double bar, I refer to the phrase, noun phrase, adjective phrase, adverb phrase. Is it, is it clear? The difference between X double bar, it is the phrase, noun phrase, adjective phrase, etc. And X zero bar without any bar, it refers to the lexical category, noun, adjective, adverb, verb, etc. Is, is this clear first? Yes, yes. Yes, professor. So, we come back to now re one one replacement. So number one, num uh, yeah, the first example. I bought the big book of poems in the blue cover, not the small one. So what does one replace? As I said, it replaces book of poems with the blue cover. Is there a note that includes only book of poems with the blue cover? No. Yeah. No. So remember, please, if anything can be in any group of words can be replaced by one element which means you need to go to the tree and you find a node from which only those words are branched so here there is no node that includes only book of poems look book of poems no there are other uh, all of them are branched from the np we need a node that includes only book of poems so, here, one does not replace the phrase, phrasal categories, does not replace the whole NP, does not replace the adjective phrase, does not replace the, the, the preposition phrases. So, one does not replace the phrases and does not replace the lexical category, okay? does not replace the lexical category, does not replace the determiner, does not replace the noun. Is this clear? One does not replace the phrasal category because does not replace the in P, does not replace this adjective phrase big, does not replace the first preposition phrase of poems, does not replace the second preposition phrase with the blue cover, and does not replace the whole in P. Uh, the big book of poems of the blue cover. So it does not replace any phrase that we have here. And it does not replace the lexical category. So one does not replace the determiner. Does not replace book, only book, the noun. So it does not replace the phrasal category, which means XP, which means X double bar, okay? So one does not replace X double bar, which is the phrase, and does not replace X zero bar, which is the lexical category, determiner and noun. I repeat, one does not replace X double bar, does not replace in P, 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 adjective phrase, does not replace the, when I say double bar, I'm talking about the phrases. So one does not replace the phrases, does not replace double bar, does not replace lexical categories determiner and noun, which means does not replace X, uh, zero bar. When I say X, zero bar, I'm talking about lexical categories. So what does it replace? 
it replaces something in between, which is not a phrase and it's not a lexical category. Xbar theory. Since since one replaces something in between, Xbar theory says. So what is between double bar and zero bar? Yes, please L look here. Look here. What is between double bar and zero bar? Bar. One bar. bar. One bar. bar. Yes, so this is the main idea of X-bar theory. This is the reason why it is called X-bar, because X-bar theory says that we have X double bar, we have the phrases, and we have X zero bar, the lexical categories. But the problem is this, one does not replace X double bar, the phrase, and does not replace the lexical category, which is X zero bar. It replaces something in between. So what is this something in between? What is this something which is between double bar and zero bar? It's one bar. So this is, this is the, if you call it, this is the story of X bar theory. This is how uh, uh, X bar theory started. This is the reason why it is called X bar theory, because this is the main concern. The main concern of X bar theory is this one so if xp is the phrasal category x double bar is the phrasal category and what is x what is x the lexical category so we have the phrasal category x double bar we have x zero bar the lexical category and we said x bar is something in between x bar theory gives it a name it is the intermediate category Okay, it is, X bar is called the intermediate category, intermediate category. It is something between the phrasal category and between the lexical category. It is called the intermediate category. Any question? Is it clear? Yes, yes thank you. Yes, Okay, so this is the, the, the solution of X bar theory. This one, yes. X bar theory tries to solve this problem by adding X bar level. So you see, determinant and noun phrase. This is N bar that includes only the head and its complement, book of poems. And N2 that includes, okay, only with the blue cover, which is an adjunct. Now we solve the problem. And remember, remember something very interesting. In X bar theory, there are only two branches. So in P, we have determined, we have in bar, in bar two. In bar two, we have in bar three and preposition phrase. In bar three, we have the noun and the preposition phrase. This is something very interesting. In X bar theory, there exist only two lines, only two branches. You cannot find three, for example, in P contains determiner and adjective phrase and in bar two, it's impossible. Which means if we want to add the adjective phrase, what should we do? Branch it from the PP, Professor. Add it as branch, it, branch it from yeah. the N. Yeah. Well, from N, from N2, or from the NP? From N2? From the NP. From the, NP. From the, from the word book. No, no, not from the NP and not from N2. Remember what I said. I said in X bar theory, you cannot have three branches. You cannot have more than two. So why are you saying we should branch it from the NP and we should branch it from the NP? We should add another N bar because we must have only two branches. You, in X bar theory, you cannot have like this. Uh, how many branches here? One, two, three, four, five branches. Five branches, determine adjective phrase, noun, preposition, preposition phrase. In X bar theory, you can never have more than two branches. Remember this. Okay? Now, what about the adjective big? 
Now, if you think back of the example, how can we uh, look at look at this example? I bought the big book of poems at the blue cover, not the small one. If we want to target the big, uh, uh, only big of poems at the blue cover, what is the possible replacement we should use? If we want to target only big, only big of book of poems at the blue cover. Does it form a constituent? Suppose that I ask you in the exam, does big of poems with the blue cover form a constituent? How can you answer? Use use one replacement test. Does it form a constituent? I'm talking about big of poems with the blue cover. Yes. How? Uh, because uh, this group of words can be replaced by one word. What, what is it? G give me the example. I bought the big uh, book of poems with the blue cover, not the small one. Or, or you may change that the small uh, because the small excludes the big. We need, yes. we need the uh, big of poems because big book of poems with the blue cover forms a constituent. You just need to prove it. Professor, Is we may any yeah, Adija, yes. We may replace replace for example instead of saying uh, big book of poems with the blue cover, we may say another object. For example, I bought the big book of poems with the blue cover, not the pen. Okay, so let let, let me explain it. So you are you are going far away from what we are talking about. It's very simple, but anyhow, it's okay. I bought the big book of poems, the blue cover, not, not, not. How can we add one, one, one word, one word, and we replace big book of poems in the blue cover? Not, not that one. That. Very good. Use that. Thank you. Yes, mm. thank you. Yeah. Okay, I bought the big book of poems in the blue cover, not that one. Not that yes. one. So excludes the so one replaces only big book of poems at the blue cover, which means that we need also a node that includes only big book of poems with the blue cover. Because now it is clear uh, that one targets only big book of poems with the blue cover. So you see using one replacement we have uh, discovered a number of constituents a number of constituents that are ignored in the in the flat structure for example we can we can use well, we can play with one replacement and we come up with a number of constituents for example when we say i bought the big book of poems in the block of not the small one here one replaces book of poems with the blue cover. If we add with the red cover, we exclude with the blue cover. Uh, book of poems. If we if we change the small with that, not that one, then we are targeting big book of poems with the blue cover, which means we need to find a node where which targets only big of big, big book of poems with the blue cover. Okay? Which means we need to add it here, a node here, okay, a node N here, in bar, that includes this one, okay? You see now? So we should add a node here, node that includes, now, includes only big book of poems with the red cover. So this node, Everything that is below it is included within it. So what do we have below this N? This, uh, this N. We have big book of poems with the red cover. This is what we want. This is what we want because one 
targets if we add not that one. So here we are targeting big book of poems with the blue cover. What is the node that includes only big book of poems with the red cover? It is this one, okay, the first one. And when we add not the small one, uh, not the small one, then we are targeting, we exclude big, which means what is the node that uh, that includes book of poems with the red cover and excluding big. It is this one, N1, N bar one. However, if we add another, okay, example, for example, I bought the big, the big book of poems with the red cover, not the small one with the blue cover. So with the blue cover, excludes with the red cover, which means what is the node? That includes the phone, it's in our show, which means when you use a replacement, any group of this that is replaced must have its own node. So, okay, is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Right. Yes, <clears throat> if we add the adjective big, then as I told you, we add a NAR bar here in bar one so the example i bought a big the big book of poems with the blue cover not that one so here it re one replaces n bar one big book of poems with the blue cover and the, the second example i bought uh, the big book of poems not the small one so here we are we are excluding the big, which means we are targeting n bar two, which exclude which includes book of poems with the blue cover. The third example, I bought the big book of poems with the blue cover, not uh, the one with or not one with the red color cover, which means we exclude with the blue cover. So. Here we are targeting in bar three, book of poems. Now you should understand two major ideas. You may have a question in the exam, for example, what are the claims okay, of X bar theory? Or what are the weaknesses of the flat structure that drive, that motivates the emergence, the appearance of x bar theory. So for the time being, at least you should say two main ideas. You may have it in a paragraph, a short paragraph. So the first idea is that x bar theory comes to solve the problem of the distinction between the complement and the adjunct. In the flat structure, when I say the flat structure is the old one, the, the classical one, race structure rules. So, X bar theory uh, by adding an an X bar, X bar, so we can distinguish between the complement which is required by the head, in this case the the noun, and the adjunct which is optional. So we can show this only by adding a bar. The second claim or the second the importance of X bar theory is that it shows that there are smaller constituents that are not phrasal and are not lexical. They are intermediate, okay? Intermediate categories, okay? They are neither phrasal categories nor lexical categories. They are something in between. We call them intermediate categories. How do we know? What are the claims of X bar theory uh, for the existence of this intermediate category? The claim is constituency test. When we use constituency test, we realize that there are certain constituents that do exist indeed, but they are not generated in the old tree structure, in the flat structure. Is it clear? Shall I move to the next point? We, we have spent much time talking about one single idea. Yes, please. Is, is there any question? It's clear, Professor. It's clear. It's clear. So? Yes? Yeah? So, yes, here? Will we all, will 
will we also have to go through these same steps as we transform a constituent f from, one, from one line of words into, into multiple branches? From one line in from uh, repeat please. From the first example you you showed us, where all the words were on the same le uh -huh. le level to this example, where yeah. where yeah. the words are, are being divided one by by Ooh. one using right. yeah two branches. So in branches. the exam, yeah, really? in the exam, forget about forget about the the the, the old trees. In the exam, you must branch from any node only to branches, only to nodes. Okay, only to. Okay, forget about what we did before. So now, uh, uh, mute your mic, please. Now, what does one replacement in three and four previous? Uh, we, we answered this question. Similar evidence comes from conjunction. So please remember, remember the arguments of expert theory. The claim and the arguments. The claim is that there is an intermediate level, which is expert theory. The arguments, we talked about one, uh, which is, uh, uh, okay, there exists an intermediate category. What is the evidence? The evidence is one replacement. Now we move to another constituency test conjunction now look at this example Calvin is the Dean of Humanities and director of social sciences give me the blue book and red binder now if we try to branch it without using an intermediate level XPAR we will fail okay so we need these intermediate in bar categories to explain the items that are conjoined in these sentences. Which means, as we, if you still remember, we talked about this. If you have, what is the rule? If you have two items which are conjoined with end or, what is the rule? Yes, please. Any conjunct MP. Uh -huh. This is for the phrase, yes. But here in XBAR theory, so please uh, remember this. In XBAR theory, so this is the rule. XBAR, XBAR, okay, conjunction, XBAR. Okay, if you if you use X bar like this, there is no problem. Okay, this is the way how it is projected in. This is the classical one. Okay, so please remember, this is the rule of any conjunction. So, for example, if we have uh, the, the the man and the woman, this is no phrase. So we should write in bar, in bar, okay, conjunction, in bar. And then, etc. The man, okay, the man, and the woman, okay. If you have conjunction between preposition phrases, so it should be p bar, uh, p bar, conjunction, p bar, okay. If this conjunction between two verbs, uh, she is she is eating and speaking, so then v bar, v bar, conjunction the bar okay so please remember this remember this so using conjunction uh, we can draw uh, the items that are conjoined together without using this intermediate level we can not so this is what we have been talking about phrase level is the x double bar right? you can use x double bar or, or, or max Okay, or just the phrase. If you use double bar, I will accept it. Okay, and this is for the intermediate level, the intermediate level, x bar. And the lexical category, x zero bar, but you don't need to write this zero. Okay, this is what we talked about. Now, bar level projections. We work on some examples. Now, let's just revise our NP rules to add the intermediate structure. 
So if you still remember the rule of the in P, the in P contains the terminal and noun, etc. So from the in P to the head, from the in P to the head, noun, we need intermediate categories in the in bar, in bar, in bar, in bar. Okay? From the in P to the head, remember this please. If you have adjective phrase and here adjective, from the phrase to the head. All nouns should be in bar, okay? And if you have VP here and here verb, all other V should be V bar, because from the phrase to the lexical category, you have only intermediate categories, okay? Is it, is it clear? Yes, Here's professor. An it is an example. This is the, the, the noun phrase. So from the noun, from the phrase to the head, to the head, this is the head. Because this noun is the head of the phrase, the head. So you go from the noun uh, through n bar 3, in bar 2, in bar 1 to the noun phrase. This noun is the head of the phrase. So moving from the phrase to the head, you have only bars here and one in bar one in bar two in bar three in bar four in bar five six etc okay until you, you uh, until you reach the the head fine here is an example the big book of poems with the blue cover okay so here the first in bar we branch the adjective phrase okay the second in bar, okay, remember, remember, and remember. The head is always the one, uh, the, the complement is always the one that is closer to the lexical category. Here it is book. The head is always closer to the lexical category. Okay? Then the preposition phrase, which is an adjunct, or an adverb phrase, which is an adjunct, is, it must be away, uh, far away from them, okay? Remember this, please. So the complement and the head are always sisters. The complement and the head are always sisters, which means they are always branched from one node. The adjunct is, uh, is far away from them. Another important conclusion is that, look, in expert theory, you always have only two branches, binary. It's always binary. So the, in P, we have the terminal in bar one. In bar one, we have AP, adjective phrase, and we have in bar two, only two. In bar two, we have in bar three and preposition phrase, only two. In bar three, we have noun and preposition phrase, only two. Only two. Okay, why? Because this solves another problem, that the daughter cannot bear more than its mother. For example, here, suppose you have the in P here and you have the German noun. Suppose that Preposition phrase, you divide it like this. Preposition, uh, determiner, adjective phrase, and uh, the noun cover. Suppose that you divide it in this way, the way we used to do. Preposition, noun phrase, and within noun phrase, you have determiner, you have adjective phrase, you have noun. So how many branches in the noun phrase here? You have determiner there, you have the adjective phrase blue, and you have the noun cover, you have three branches. So the daughter, the daughter has three branches and the mother, which is the preposition phrase, it has only two branches, which is uh, from the preposition phrase, we branch the preposition and the in P. Okay? Is it clear or shall I draw it here just to understand another problem that XBAR theory uh, uh, comes to solve. So if you consider this example, uh, we, we, we talked about the example uh, with the blue cover. Uh, consider the example of with the blue cover. So we have the preposition phrase, this is the old one, okay, the old the tree structure, and then the in P. Then we have the terminal, the, then we have adjective phrase, adjective, okay, uh, with the blue, okay, then we have the, the noun here. Now, which is cover. Now, 
how many branches in the INP? Three branches. Okay, three branches. We have the determinant there, we have the adjective phrase blue, and we have the noun cover. How many branches? How many branches are within the preposition phrase? Only two. We have the preposition with and we have the in P. Which means that the daughter, the, because PP is the mother of the in P. So the daughter in P bears more nodes. Uh, it, it bears more branches. It has more nodes, more constituents than its mother, which is wrong. Okay, this is another problem. Okay, the mother has only two branches preposition the NP, and the daughter NP has three branches determiner, adjective phrase, noun. So the mother normally should bear more than its daughter. So to solve again this problem is to use a uh, an intermediate category, okay? and where you have only two branches. Is there any question? Could you, sh could you show us how you could solve that problem? Yes, when we use, when we use uh, Mr. Yassin, when we use X-bar theory, uh, we have this example there, except that it is not elaborated here. It is not elaborated here. So for example, if you use X-bar theory, so P double bar, or P double bar means P, P. It means the phrase, right? So if we use here, okay, here we have P one bar, and we have the preposition with, okay, and we have the in P or in double bar, they are the same, okay? In P or in double bar, okay? Then we have determiner, which is the, okay? Then we have in bar, which is, okay, then the adjective phrase, okay, which is uh, blue, then another N bar, or N, we'll talk about this later on, cover. You see now, so here we have, this place, we'll talk about it later on. So the preposition phrase, the PP, or P double bar, has two branches. This one has two branches, the preposition with an N, double bar. In double bar has two branches, determiner and in bar. In bar has two branches, adjective phrase and noun. Okay? So we'll, we'll talk about this. Sir, please. Yes. It's, uh, it's uh, the, same, uh, the same case uh, uh, with conjunction. For example, speaking and uh, eating and uh, it's the same uh, case. The same case, yeah, uh, except conjunction. Okay. Yes, except conjunction, okay. because in conjunction okay. you have three branches, okay? okay? In conjunction, you have three branches. However, in the future, maybe we're not going to cover it. We, you may claim that it's the conjunction which heads the phrase. In that case, you can solve the problem. So we're not going to talk about this. So. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Right, okay, you see the big book of poems in the blue cover, right. Now, evidence for X-bar theory intermediate level. Without the intermediate in bar node, we would have no way of accounting for one replacement or conjunction facts, okay? So without this intermediate category, X-bar, we cannot account for those constituents which are replaced by one and conjunction as well. So we have seen an example from INP. Do other categories also have intermediate structure? Yes. For example, and this is what we are going to see. We are going to see a replacement, one replacement, or so replacement in verb, verb, verb phrases. We are going to see conjunctions in verb phrases, in preposition phrases, etc. Just to claim that this X bar, this intermediate structure, also exists with other syntactic categories. Okay, now let's begin with the VP, V bar. We use one replacement again or do so. 
We use do so or did so if we're talking about the past replacement. So please remember, we talked about one replacement test. There is also do so or did so replacement test. Okay, to prove that there is an intermediate category in VPs. Consider this example. I eat beans with a fork. So if we draw, this is the, the tree structure, the old one. We have three branches, okay? We have eat, beans, the first uh, NP, and we have with a fork the preposition phrase. Can anyone first explain the problem here? Thinking of the functions of the NP and the preposition phrase. Can anyone explain the problem? Professor. Yes, Mr. Nordin. Uh, this uh, tree doesn't, uh, doesn't give a clear idea about uh, the constituency. And it makes mm -hmm. no difference between uh, direct object and uh, adjunct. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay, so this is, this is the problem, yes. So here, we know that beans, the in P, functions as the complement of the verb. And with a fork, is simply an adjunct. But this tree structure, this flat structure, does not show this, does not show this, okay? It shows that the verb and the NP and the PP are at the same level. So what, what do we need? Can anyone answer this question? What do we need? It's similar to what we did before. Add V-bar. Yes, thank you. We need to add a V-bar that includes only eat and beans. Why? Because beans is a complement and uh, with a fork is only an adjunct. Okay? So we need to do something like this one. Okay? So we eat beans. So we need the VP here. So we need like a V bar here and the verb. We need the verb here, eat, and and we need here, uh, beans, the NP here, eat beans, okay? We need this. We need to show that eat, which is the verb, takes its complement, uh, beans, the NP. We need to group them together and exclude the preposition phrase, okay? The preposition phrase should be excluded, okay? So here, for example, uh, we, we, we write it down here. So another V bar and we branch the preposition phrase with a fork. Okay? So this is what we need. We need to show that beans is a complement uh, of uh, is a complement of the verb eat. So they must be branched from uh, it must be closer to it. Do you see now? So we have solved the problem. In addition to this, in addition to this do so or did so replacement also shows that eat beans alone forms a constituent. So you see, we have two arguments. We have two arguments. You can say that we need a V bar to separate between uh, the complement and the adjunct. Okay, the, fir the in P. Remember that the verb it takes the in P as its complement. So it is required. So with a fork is simply an adjunct, it should be excluded. This is the first argument. You can say it differently using do so or did so replacement. You can say that when we use did so replacement, we can target only its beans. How? This is the example. Okay, so this is the, the, the example. Uh -huh. This is the example, okay? Do so or did so replacement, what does it target in the following example? I eat beans with a fork, but Janet does so with a spoon. So what does so replace? 
it replaces only its beans. It's beans. Okay. Why? Because with a spoon excludes with a fork. With a spoon excludes with a fork. Okay, it's beans with a fork, but Janet does so with a spoon, which means we are not similar in terms of uh, uh, the, the instrument we use to eat. I use a fork, she okay, uh, uses a spoon, which means that with a spoon excludes with a fork. So remember constituency test, if you can replace a group of words with one element, it means that group of words forms a constituent. And if it forms a constituent, it must be branched from one node. Okay, only eat and beans must be branched from one node. Okay, and excluding the others. But in this flat structure, in this flat structure, it's not the case because eat beans, we have also with a fork, which means since eat beans alone forms a constituent, so we need to add a V-bar that includes only eat and beans. Because using the so replacement, we have seen that eat and beans alone, without the preposition, form a constituent. And since they form a constituent, they must belong, excluding everything else, everything that comes before or after them. Okay? This is how we solve the problem. Okay, we add a v-bar here. Okay. Where is the example? Okay. Yes. So here the verb is, is this. It should be here. Beans is the in p here. And with a fork is here. Okay. So which node is targeted by the so replacement? Is this one? Is this v-bar? Eat beans. Now we solve the problem. Okay, we need an example that targets the first V bar, an example that targets this one. So does so, does so replaces in case only eat beans. It replaces the lower V bar. Now, can you think of uh, an example where we have replacement of the V, the first V bar? So, I eat beans with a fork, but, and Janet, that's so, you need one word. Two. That's so, two. Two. Yes, two. I, I eat beans with a fork, and Janet does so, too. Which means that we both eat beans with a fork. If you exclude with a spoon and you add two, R1, which means that that does so, two, in this case, does so, replaces eat beans with a fork. Now we need to find a node that includes all of them. And this is the V bar, the first one, the V bar, this one. And if you add with a spoon, you exclude with a fork. In that case, you target only its beans. We need a node that includes only its beans. It is the lower V bar. I think it's clear. Any question? Yes, sir. We, uh, we will enter the conjunction. Now, forget about uh, branching the whole sentence. Okay. 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 Here we have we, here we have two phrases. Okay, here, if you want to branch it, you have two sentences. Remember when we have two sentences, so you have to do something like this. Okay, but forget about it for the time being. You have two sentences. You have the first TP, second TP. You have conjunction which is but or and, and the second tip, we have two sentences. Whenever you have two sentences conjoined, then you have to, okay, uh, uh, write this rule, okay? Then in P, D, P, etc.
Now, normally, syntax should be taught in the classroom. Well, I was eagerly waiting to have classes face to face because we are suffering now. Just to draw a tree, if we were in the class, then we could draw as many trees as, as, as possible. But That's now we are yes. suffering just to, to draw one simple tree. Now, here is another example. Okay? So, Kevin ate spaghetti with a spoon and Jordi did so too. So, here, did so uh, replaces the same example we talked about. If we add two, so we are targeting the VP and the, 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 the complements and the preposition phrase. Similarly, conjunction seems to show an intermediate V bar, even in conjunctions. Yeah. How can we solve the problem here? So remember the rule, we, we, when conjunction is between the verb phrases, so you need V bar, V bar, conjunction, V bar. If conjunction is between preposition phrases, then you need P bar, P bar, conjunction, P bar. Okay, so we cannot generate a sentence or phrase with conjunction without the X bar. Okay, so look at this one. This is the rule that you must remember. Whenever you have conjunction between verb phrases, so V bar, V bar, conjunction, V bar. Between preposition phrases, preposition, P bar, P bar, conjunction, P bar. Okay, between adverb phrases, adverb bar, adverb bar, conjunction, adverb bar. Please remember this because I think you will have it in the exam because in the exam you will have one question in which you draw the tree using X bar theory. I will give you a sentence or a phrase uh, to draw the tree uh, of it using X bar theory. So it may contain okay, the conjunction. Is it clear in a question? So here we have the, 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 the conjunction between eat beans and serve salads. Conjunction. So V, remember please. Okay, this is a very interesting remark. The complement is always sister to the lexical category. For example, in the verb phrase, the, the in P is always sister to the verb because it's the head. Here it's sister to the, the verb. But the preposition phrase with a fork is not complement. It's an adjunct. So it mustn't be sister to V0 bar. It must be sister to V1 bar. So please remember only two things in, in, in this tree. Two things. First, the rule of the conjunction. X bar, X bar, conjunction, X bar. The second thing is when you have complement, it must be sister to the verb. If you have an adjunct, it must be sister to a bar. It's always the case. Okay? So we're finished now with, uh, with the arguments that there exists there exist a bar level with the verb phrases. How we gave the example of do so or that so or did so. We gave the example of I eat beans with a fork and but Janet does so okay with a spoon. So using does so or did so or do so, we have shown that there exists an intermediate level, an X bar. And also using conjunction. So we are going to do the same thing with adjective phrases and adverb phrases. We we group them together. Okay? Adjective bar, which means that do we have an intermediate level, uh, an adjective bar in the adjective phrases? Do we have an adverb bar in the adverb phrases? This is what we have to prove. Now consider this example. Again, again, we cannot solve the problem of the conjunction between two adjective phrases, very bright blue and tall green gown. So we have the conjunction between two adjective phrases. If we don't use an intermediate category, we cannot branch this phrase. Okay? So one possible reading, because here very is ambiguous. Very is ambiguous. How? Does it refer only to bright blue? Or both of them? So 
is it very bright blue and a very dull green or just very bright blue so anyhow we'll, we'll adopt only one reading so one possible reading is that very modifies both bright blue and dull green so look at this example here we have the conjunction between two adjective phrases so remember the rule adjective bar adjective bar conjunction adjective bar very simple okay very simple okay so adjective bar here we have the adverb phrase okay bright the adjective bar okay blue we have here again adverb phrase tall we have the adjective phrase green okay now here uh, adverb phrase modifies modifies both of them modifies both of them the second reading this if you want i can draw it to you the second reading it modifies only okay it modifies only uh, uh, only very uh, uh, only bright blue so in in that reading it should be something like so here we have let, let's start just from let's start from the adjective bar adjective bar conjunction adjective bar okay now here we have here we have the adverb phrase or adverb double bar or adverb phrase okay they are the same here we have adjective bar so the adverb phrase is very adjective phrase what do we have here again yeah bright bright, bright blue so again here okay again here we have adverb phrase right and we have an adjective okay or adjective we have blue which means that this adverb very is sister to this one is sister to the mother of bright and the blue which means it modifies it modifies only bright blue is it clear now this is the second reading we are not interested no. in ambiguity here look at the first reading look at the first reading adverb phrase is sister to this adjective bar that that is the mother of all of them okay this means that very modifies bright blue and dull green but this reading this reading very modifies only bright okay only bright blue yes yes please any question we're not interested in uh, ambiguity but yeah in this case if very modifies only bright blue we are going to branch it from here but please avoid having three branches in x bar theory that's why we need to add another adjective bar here below so again again there must be an intermediate level in uh, with the adjective phrases especially when we have conjunctions any questions should i move yes thank you So under certain circumstances, some adjectives appear to allow preposition modifiers to follow them. Yes, here's an example. Sometimes we have preposition uh, phrases after adjective phrases. Okay, I'm afraid or frightened of tigers and found of circus performers. Consider now this example. I'm afraid or frightened of tigers and fan of clowns without exception so here we have conjunction again between two adjective phrases what does without exception modify so again we have we have ambiguity uh, does it modify both of them or just found of clowns okay similar to very anyhow we're, we're not dealing with ambiguity here so the tree okay uh we have to draw the tree hmm? so again 
Okay, we can draw it just to show that there is an intermediate level. So I'm, I'm uh, frightened of, afraid of tigers. Okay, so here we have adjective phrases, okay? So remember, adjective bar, adjective bar, okay? Here we have conjunction, and we have adjective bar, okay? So we have here, Adjective, which is afraid, and here we have preposition phrase, okay, of tigers. And we have the other adjective phrase, which is uh, found, okay. Here again we have. Okay, found, and here the second preposition phrase of, okay, so here, this is the way, again, without this intermediate level, you cannot branch it. Of course, this is, this is a sentence, then you can continue here, the verb phrase, okay, here the verb, which is uh, um, okay, verb to be, verb to be, Let, let's use it just um for the time being, and then you have the TP, okay. TP, and here you have the in P. Noun, I am afraid of. But what is interesting for us is, is this one. Okay? Okay, if you have conjunction, then between adjective phrases, adjective bar, adjective bar, and adjective. This is the only way uh, that, that can help you, okay? It can allow you generate adjective phrases with conjunction. Okay, so, so replacement. Now, we talked about one replacement test. We talked about do so or does so or did so re replacement test. Now we move to so replacement test. Again, so replacement seems to target adjective phrases. Here is an example. Bob is very serious about Mary, but less so. So what does so replace less so? Serious about Mary. Serious about Mary because less excludes very. Which means that in the tree, we must have a node that includes only serious about Mary. But if you consider the, the old one, we don't, we don't have it here. I'm going to draw it, okay? So the adjective phrase here is very serious about Mary. But so replacements are only target serious about Mary. Now, look at the uh, old, or the, the tree structure, the flat structure. Serious, very serious about Mary. Okay. All right. Bob is very serious about Mary. So here, very serious about Mary. So again, the adjective. The adjective phrase okay so this is the um, the flat structure Okay, adjective phrase, we have the adverb phrase very, we have the adjective, okay, serious, and we have the preposition phrase, very serious, about Mary. Now, th this is the flat structure, but the problem is that so excludes very which means we need a node uh, we need a node that targets only okay that targets only uh, uh, serious about Mary because less excludes very 
which means we need this adjective phrase, okay, this adjective serious, and the preposition phrase about Mary, okay, to be excluded, to, to, to be included together here, which means we need an adjective bar here, okay? You see now, so, and then the adverb phrase, Mary, okay? Then this is the adjective phrase. You see now, so here by adding a bar, we can also target so replacement, okay? So again, okay, uh, let, let's go back to the example. What is the example, please? So the example is, Bob is very serious about Mary, but less so. Less so. Okay, so here less excludes very. Okay? Okay, so which means that uh, uh, serious about Mary, this is the, the, the node that is targeted by so replacement. Which means that so replacement also shows that there exists an intermediate category in the adjective phrases. We can also add another bar here, and we uh, we exclude this one. Okay? We add a bar here. Why? Because, okay, we need. So here it's it's the head, the adjective, the adjective phrase. Okay, the adjective. The adjective phrase here. The adjective phrase. We need this node Y because we may say also, we may say, uh, what is the, oh, sorry, again. So we may say, for example, very serious about Mary, okay? Bob is very serious about Mary, okay? And, for example, John, too, okay? Or as much as uh, John, for example, which means that here, uh, 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 okay, we need so that replaces very serious about Mary. Uh, we can say Bob is very serious about Mary, and the poll is so too, is so too, which means that so replaces very serious about Mary. We need again, okay, a, a node that targets this. This is the adjective bar one, okay? This is the adjective bar one if we say and very, uh, uh -huh, and the poll is so too is so true. Here we are talking about, we are targeting adjective bar one. If we say, unless so, then we are targeting adjective bar two, okay? So the conclusion is that the uh, so replacement also shows that there exists an intermediate category in the uh, adjective phrases. Any question? So the last slide, then we stop. The last slide is this one, okay? Conjunctions, okay? Again, conjunctions and so replacements can be used to prove the existence of an intermediate category. Here is an example. Now, this is an example with preposition phrases. We can also find conjunctions with preposition phrases and so replacement with preposition phrases. For example, here, we knocked it right off the table and into the trash. So again, we follow the rule of the conjunction. P bar, P bar, conjunction, P bar. We solve the problem. Here we have an example, the last example we have, so replacement. Susanna was utterly in love, but Lewis was only partly so. So what does so replace? In love. In love. In love. In love. Why? Because partly excludes utterly, okay? But yeah. if we... Do create in, the action. Yeah, so if we um, use the uh, trees, the flat structure, so in love, utterly, 
That's a lay in love. Preposition phrase. Okay. Preposition phrase. Uh, we have an adverb phrase preceding it. Okay. So here we have preposition phrase. We have an adverb phrase here, utterly. And here we have, okay, utterly in love preposition in. And we have here the in P love. Now the problem is when we add, when we use so replacement, then we, we, we are at and part, partly so, which means we exclude utterly. And we need only a node that includes in and love together. Together, okay? And we can do this, okay? We can do this by grouping, by grouping only the preposition and together here, okay? This is the way how we can solve this problem, okay? So we can group them together here by adding an intermediate category, P bar. You see, we solve this problem by adding an intermediate category, P bar. Now we solve the problem. So, replacement targets the preposition P bar, okay, which is in love. So without this intermediate category, we cannot solve this problem, which means that in love, alone is a smaller constituent because the larger constituent is everything is utterly in love this the whole thing is a preposition phrase within the preposition phrase we have adverb phrase which is utterly and we have the in p which is love this is something that we talked about before but what is new in x bar theory is that in addition to the preposition phrase utterly in love and the adverb phrase utterly and the in p love we have another constituent that is not generated in the flat structure what is it it is in love so we need an intermediate category but in love is not the preposition phrase because the preposition phrase is the whole thing utterly in love so what should we call it? We can't call it the preposition phrase, so we call it P bar. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So here again, so as, as I said before, anything between anything between uh, uh, the preposition phrase and the preposition which is the head, everything the preposition whenever you find preposition it should be with a bar from the preposition phrase to the preposition to the to the head everything should be with a bar over it okay so we stop here if there is any question then please you're welcome expert theory is not difficult as you might think okay you just it's need to pay attention at, hmm? It needs a revision. Okay. Sir, will you provide us with some exercises? Of course, but uh, we, we need to we need to cover interesting things. Uh, it's like today is a very, very brief introduction of x bar theory. Okay, so I don't know. I was intending to have at least sessions at least one session in, in this holiday, but maybe some of you may not accept I mean, this idea. We accept, this way, sir. This way we can, uh, we can proceed because we need at least, so you see, we have covered only 16 slides in expert theory and we still have, we, we have 52 slides to, to finish expert theory. Okay, which means that if we wait, okay, uh, or, uh, until or after the holiday, so we may uh, we may not finish expert theory, or we just finish expert theory. Okay, and you should know that for me, it doesn't matter whether we 
whether we cover one chapter or only two chapters, that's what you will have in the exam. But I don't think in this way, because this is something very interesting. If you don't know it, it means you know nothing about linguistics. And yes. as I told you last time, you are killing two birds with one stone. You are preparing for the exam, expert theory, and you are preparing for the master entrance exam because in the master of linguistics, for sure you will have exercise in expert theory and exercises in the binding theory, etc. Which means if you don't pay attention, if you don't attend, so you are going maybe to get a bad mark or maybe just 10 and you validate, but importantly, you may not get a good mark uh, to get access to the master program, especially syntax and phonology, okay, and other subjects as well, okay? So you should think of it in this way. You are preparing for two things. So anyhow, if you are ready to have uh, just one session, one session again in this holiday, I'm, I'm ready all the time, okay? I just don't want to pressure you. Of course, teacher. Thank you so Already, much. Sir. We can have it if you want. Of course, yeah, teacher. Sure. We will be ready. And, uh, sir, we want to say yes, thank you it, because teacher. it is uh, not easy to explain uh, like this uh, lesson by drawing on laptop and deleting. It's not easy. So, thank you so much. Okay. Yes, it sir. needs face-to-face, face, as you said. Sorry? It needs face-to-face, face, as you said, sir. Yes. So, please, those who don't want to have a session in the holiday, please uh, raise your hand, just to make sure that everybody is in. Okay, that's good. Two, five. I'm to Zema. <laughs> okay, it's up to you. It's up to you. So um, I don't know. We 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 are we are always in a holiday. We are already in a holiday. Yes. Anyhow, so we can, we can have it if you have time, of course. I do have time, but when more than more than seven people don't want to have it, so um, we won't. Professor, they are 152, not seven. We can vote. We can vote. Yes. Yeah, we can. So anyhow, we'll do we'll do one thing. So we are going to have a session on uh, yeah next week on uh, let's say let's say uh, Tuesday. Is it fine for you Tuesday? Tuesday. Okay. Yes, professor. Yes, professor. Yeah. Thank you. Tuesday at Tuesday at two o'clock. Yeah, but let me say one thing. Let me say so. Tuesday, and I am going to record. I'm going to record the session, and uh, that that will be the only session that I will. Who will not attend? I will share with you the slides. Okay. The, I will yeah, tell you with, with the, the recordings, just because you have some uh, lame excuse. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to share with you the slide, uh, uh, the recording, just to be satisfied. Anyhow, so um, that's all. We stop here. Thank you, Professor. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you so much.